Hi everyone, welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to look at a physics calculation. We're going to look at how to calculate power. So to remind ourselves what power is, the definition of power is that it is the rate at which energy is transferred by an appliance or a device. Rate meaning the speed that energy is being transferred at. The more energy is transferred each second, the higher the power rating of that appliance. We use an equation to calculate power. The equation is power equals energy transferred divided by time. Energy transferred is measured in joules and time is always measured in seconds. If we're doing a certain number of joules divided by a certain number of seconds, we'd expect power to be measured in joules per second, but it's actually measured in a different unit called watts with the symbol W. Now this is very similar because one joule per second is the same as one watt. So a power rating of one watt means one joule of energy is transferred every second. Here's an example of how to use that equation. We have a device, for example, a toaster. A toaster transfers 6,000 joules of energy in three seconds. Calculate its power rating. So we're going to need that equation, power equals energy transferred divided by time. And then we just substitute the values that we've been given in the question. So the energy transferred is 6,000 joules and the time is three seconds. If we do 6,000 divided by three, that will give us a power rating of 2,000 watts. Here's a couple of practice questions for you to have a go at using this equation. An appliance transfers 3,000 joules of energy in five seconds. Calculate its power rating. And then the second question, an appliance transfers 24 kilojoules of energy in two minutes. Calculate its power rating. Check your units on that question. Pause the video and give these a try. Okay, to review these, for the first question, we're going to need to use the same equation, power equals energy transferred over time. We can then substitute those values into the equation. So energy transferred is 3,000, time is 5. 3,000 divided by 5 is 600 watts. Now for the second question, it's given us our energy transferred in kilojoules, and we need to convert that into joules. 24 kilojoules is the same as 24,000 joules. It's also given us our time in minutes, so we need to convert that into seconds. Two minutes is 120 seconds. Once we've converted our units, we just substitute those back into the equation. Energy transferred, 24,000 divided by time, 120 seconds. If we put that into our calculator, it gives us a power rating of 200 watts. Now sometimes we have to do some rearranging after we've substituted into the equation. So for example, a 2000 watt appliance is turned on for 20 seconds. Calculate the energy transferred. So this time they've told us the power and the time and we have to work out energy transferred. To do that we're just going to use the same equation and we're going to substitute into that. Power equals energy transferred over time. This time we know the power is 2000 watts. We don't know the energy transferred, we know the time is 20 seconds. Once we've substituted, we need to rearrange, so that makes 2000 equals 20 times the energy transferred. That means energy transferred must be 4000 joules. Here's a couple of practice questions where you have to rearrange after you've substituted your values into the equation. A 5000 watt appliance is turned on for 2.5 seconds. Calculate the energy transferred and a 0.5 kilowatt appliance transfers 2.75 kilojoules of energy. Calculate the time taken. Make sure you check your units. Pause the video and give these questions a go. For the first question, we just need to substitute into the equation. The power is 5,000 watts. The time is 2.5 seconds. So 5,000 equals energy transferred over 2.5 seconds. If we rearrange that, we get 5,000 times 2.5 equals energy transferred. If we put that into our calculator, it tells us that the energy transferred is 12,500 joules. For the second question, we need to convert our power rating from kilowatts into watts. 
0.5 kilowatts is the same as 500 watts. And we need to convert kilojoules into joules. 2.75 kilojoules is 2,750 joules. Then we just substitute into the equation. 500 for power equals 2,750 for energy transferred divided by the time. If we rearrange that equation, the first step would be 500 times time equals 2,750. And then if we rearrange it again, it tells us that time equals 2,750 divided by 500. You put that into your calculator, it tells us that the time taken is 5.5 seconds. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.